these are the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Make sure you hit that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe. While growing up and while kind of chasing that goal of becoming a professional cricket mm-hmm. player, uh, have you felt like that your gender kind of held you back in any form? Mm-hmm. Like were there people who doubted you? Were there people mm-hmm. who like questioned you? Mm-hmm. And, and did that make you question yourself also? If I'd be real honest, there were people like... now things have changed people's mind is opened up and all that but when i started playing cricket i am talking like this old auntie now <laughs> we are back in the 80s when i started playing cricket no as <laughs> born in 2000 so like but when i started playing so women's cricket was not that like i really didn't know imagine i'm playing the sport and i didn't know women's cricket existed and literally people have come to my parents relatives and all that and they come like have you lost it why are you making your daughter play cricket don't you know like cricket is a kind of they didn't say it in that sense but they actually wanted to say that cricket is a male dominated sport but i think this has never affected me i'll tell you why because i think my parents never made me feel that way about taking up the sport and i think they have a huge role in that like my dad's my coach and my mom also gives me coaching advice <laughs> and all that like come home and gives me gyan i'm like one dad is enough mama <laughs> so i tell them no but but both of them have been very supportive and then for them it was like you know if my daughter has the talent and she wants to play why should i see her gender like why should i say okay you're a girl you can't play no she's good at it she wants to play let her play so they never made me feel like cricket is a male dominated sport even though my brothers used to play they always supported me the same way so actually my dad wanted to play cricket but his parents never allowed him because at that time it was like you know you get a job you settle in life and they were right in in at, in their own they just wanted the best for his son but my dad never stopped us from playing so i think there were these times where you know people came up and told but i think it never affected me because my mom and dad handled it very well and they never made me feel like you know because you're a girl you can't do this uh, we had kiran bedi on the show mm. um in the legend of like um, just the indian story mm. since independence um and the one outcome i had from that podcast was she said that the one thing her parents did right was support her mm. especially when you know at that time yeah. so she was india's first female ips officer yeah, at that time it was like an insane Correct. vibe Correct. so um uh, that's one thing i've understood about all the successful professional women i've met mm-hmm. you kiran ma'am everyone says the same things that my parents were like supportive yeah. which makes me think that uh, you know they say only 5 to 10% of all indian women are part of the workforce here Yeah. So I question that why is it why mm. what are the ninety percent women doing mm. and partly I mean there's many reasons yeah. but a lot of it is the mindset you're given when you're a child correct you know that listen you'll be able to do it versus no no you can't do it right what if your parents had listened to your Masi Mosa and all and yeah, said that exactly name, I wouldn't saying, be here today yeah I mean I don't I don't even know why I'm mentioning this hopefully there's some young probably guy listening to this podcast yeah. who raises his daughter correct you know in the right way yeah. but uh, no, that even till today you know when. Now I go to the same ground. I used to be the only girl where four hundred, five hundred boys used to play. Now there's a specific net solely for girls. And when these girls or these parents come up to me and say, you know, uh, Jemmy, I want my daughter to become like you, or I want my son also to become like you, and just tell me how to go about and go forth. And they're supporting that kid. I feel so happy inside. And I mean, that's yes, playing for India is like one of the best feelings. But I think maybe after that is like someone coming to you and telling you, you know, looking at you. I want to send my daughter to play cricket mm. or or play sports so I think mm. yeah that's the most satisfying feeling mm.